Today we're going to make this woodworking project for beginners, this nice little chisel rack. You can make this out of standard sized timber that you can buy from any hardware store. It requires no sanding and you can make it in an afternoon. So stick around and I'll show you how to do it. First thing you want to do is just lay out your chisels that you want to put in the rack. Just have them spaced out a little bit. We'll probably go about 35 centimeters, something like that. You want to allow for space on the end as well so it doesn't hit the sides. For the rails, I've just got 42 millimeter by 19 millimeter wood from the hardware store. I've set up a stop block on my crosscut sled and we just need to cut four of these out. Remember, if you don't have a table saw or a crosscut sled, you can just use a miter box and a saw and just cut it that way. Um, this way's just fast, it'll take about 10 seconds to do. In between the chisels, I'm gonna use a, like a one inch spacer block or two and a half centimeters. So we'll just move another stop block. When cutting skinny little parts like this, I'll use a little stick to just uh, hold it down so it doesn't get trapped and come and fly out at me. You just need two posts, uh, about 190 millimeters long or seven and a half inches long, roughly. To avoid sanding, I'm going to use a nicely sharpened hand plane uh, to sharpen this one so it's razor sharp and in a few passes we can just get a really super smooth shiny surface. Okay, all I've done is just laid out my chisels roughly how I want them. I used a little spacer block in between just to set the distances so they're all pretty even. So I've taken the clamps off and now I just want to get this top surface and the bottom surface dead flat so it's all nice and clean, looks like one nice neat piece of wood. Uh, to do that I'm just going to use the hand plane again which is a Veritas low angle jack plane which I really love. Um, if you don't have a plane you can just use uh, a sandpaper and a sanding block and that'll do the same thing as well. got everything squared up now um, everything's really smooth nice and shiny we didn't have to sand anything love it any job any project you don't have to sand is a good one we're ready to glue up because I'm gluing end grain what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub some glue right into there because if you think of end grain as like a like straws so it's going to absorb much more glue than the face grain so we'll just work a bit in there um, but I've got a pretty decent surface area for the sides of the project so it'll, it'll hold it no problems at all. I hope I've done enough to earn your subscription and I hope you like this nice little project. Don't forget to uh, take a look at some of my other videos and subscribe to my channel. Take, uh, also, you can follow me on social media, particularly Instagram, uh, where I'm most active. Boy. <laughs> okay, I'll take that part out.
<laughs> I don't take that part out. Okay. Yeah, put it in. Okay, I'll try and put it in. <laughs>